Ken Tamplin Vocal Academy, where the proof is still in the scene. Uh, but it's not. What's going on, lovely people? Today is Saturday. So a couple days ago, I was talking about YouTube drama. Two of the main topics that I tackled was uh, the Ken Tamplin situation and also the Lunchly situation. With the whole Lunchly stuff, uh, it's just been... I mean, it's just, it, it is what it is. I can guarantee you it wasn't Mr. Beast that made that response to uh, Dan TDN. Logan making himself look more of a clown. KSI still, I don't know if he, did he add anything to this? You know, very smart of KSI to use this whole drama thing as like a PR stunt for his, uh, for his new song. The funny thing is, no matter how we look at this, no matter how, you know, how much KSI responds, how many times Logan responds, at the end of the day, it is still rent free. They took one tweet and ran with it. It would be one thing if uh, Dan TDM was wrong, but it's also another one he's right. I just find it funny how like one tweet set everything off. I already checked this, so this is kind of me, you know, faking it, but what has Dan TDM done after this whole thing? Has he made a video? Has he made a response video? Has he made more tweets? He posted a Minecraft video after the, the controversy. W Dan TDM. You know, it is what it is. Everyone will forget about this in a month anyway, so. And at the end of the day, I mean, the people that are pushing back on this whole Lunchly idea are people that aren't, you know, like, they're not, like, the main target of this product, right? Lunchly is undoubtedly for kids and when i say kids we're talking like below fourth grade and of course they're not going to be on twitter and you know engaging in this kind of stuff maybe they just see oh mr beast mr me so beast releasing this product and that's all they care about like mom can i please can i go to walmart and buy one please they're still going to get money out of it but the thing i wanted to talk about a little bit more actually since uh, this isn't as big it's still a fun drama to tackle so the ken tamplin situation just a little tldr of what happened ken tamplin vocal academy is ken tamplin's like vocal like vocal academy he teaches people how to sing and especially sing live ken tamblin vocal academy where the proof is in the singing well people have discovered recently that uh there actually is no proof in the singing because he's not singing live and the reason why that's bad is because that's fraud that's fraudulent allegedly if you're teaching a class about singing and singing live specifically you need to be able to do that yourself not only is this a case of not being able to practice what you preach like i said again allegedly Fraudulent. Ken Tamplin is always up his ass. He's such a big fan of himself. To prove that even further, he responded. Ken Tamplin responds to critics. If he named this Ken Tamplin situation as crazy, it would have gotten more views. But you know what? Let's move to the here to the to the computer setup, right? Audio. So uh, I wanted to respond to this video, or you know, he didn't ask for my response, but I just figured, you know what? Let's talk about it because I think it's fun. I'm actually re-recording this right now because I feel like in the other recording, uh, I was just kind of yapping and I, I it wasn't really structured. I want to re-record it just so I can articulate my, you know, my, my points better. 700 likes, 600 dislikes. It's no bueno. You'll see in the comment section as well, a lot of just support, which I'll get into that later. Hey everybody, Ken Tamplin from Ken Tamplin Vocal Academy, where the proof is in the singing. So it's not. You may not know that I just did a live performance with my band's Shout and Tamplin this past August in Ohio. And frankly, I think we killed it. Uh, maybe we killed it so good. No, you'll see this a lot throughout this whole video. There's a lot of suck in his own shmeet. That we actually had people coming to me and saying, we think you lip synced the show. We had a gob of KTDA advocates rushing to my rescue to go line by line to prove how different the live performance was from the studio recordings. In fact, one guy actually said that he um, identified over a hundred places in a 70 minute set of how different the live performance was compared to studio performances. Now, unfortunately, these websites decided to go ahead and delete everybody's comments. I had a video of me and Madison Beer, you know, having a good time together, if you know what I mean. She was great. Ma I love Madison Beer. But unfortunately, the videos got deleted. You guys are just gonna have to take my word for it, but I just let you know, though, it did happen. The over 100 pieces of evidence that he's not lip-syncing is uh, listed in the description here, but, oh, of course, I ran out of room in the space. YouTube only allows 5,000 characters, and the list was nearly 8,000 characters. This is great and all, but you're only showing half the evidence. This doesn't even count as evidence, because all you really gotta do is look at the video. Just look at the video, and you'll realize he is lip-syncing. And the one time that he wasn't lip-syncing... You know 
Oh no, the, the, you know, uh, the, the, the mic is actually working now. I gotta, I gotta. <laughs> and delete everybody's comments because it didn't sell the narrative that they wanted to get more views, more clicks. Now let me explain this. That's because social media has become one giant tabloid magazine. Now, it's not really their fault. I'm going to get into that in a minute because the algorithm... He points out how this is pretty much a bunch of hooey. This is a bunch of baloney. It's not. It's not a bunch of baloney. And he chokes it up as like, oh, you know, like these guys are only trying to get views out of me. And uh, that's what you'll notice as well. And just seeing, by the way, he talks about views and stuff. He he, lo mm, he loves the views. He loves the views, which I love the views too. But he loves the views. Six million views, five million views. He's like those like Indian channels that like put you know the the, the amount of views that they got on the video in the thumbnail. Which what the reason why people are calling you out is because they actually have evidence and they're calling you a fraud for it because you're selling a course that boasts about how to sing well, how to sing high. The proof is in the singing, but you can't even do it yourself. That's exactly why people are calling you out, not because of views. Who cares? We just don't like people that like don't practice what they preach. Rhythms actually play into this. So the more outrageous you can be, the more sensationalistic you can be, you know, fraud, exposed, <laughs> it's over. You know, all these different things that they use, these tactics, they do it for views. I don't, like I said, I don't really even blame these guys because they're incentivized to do this and the algorithms are incentivized to do this so that they can get more views and make more money. This is not about investigative reporting, okay? Now, getting back- Now he's just being ridiculous. This is not about investigative reporting? Damn. What's this? And when the post showed clearly how many different places there were that I sang live or that were different from the live to the studio recordings, a lot of people backed up and said, okay, well, wait a minute. Maybe you didn't lip sync the show after all, but you used backing tracks. <laughs> what he misses in this point right here is that even if it's like different from the original studio version, I hope you know you can re-record songs. And make and change it up just a little bit because you want to make it seem like you're not lip syncing. So it's a completely mute point that you're bringing up. I would have loved to have had a 60 piece choir singing all the anthemic stuff that we do as a big anthemic band. But let me do a quick Google search. I just did, this is a short list of who either has used backing tracks or are currently using backing tracks. Are you ready? Check this out. Pink Floyd. And then he proceeds to list uh, a lot of artists that use backing track. I don't get why he had to respond to this because I completely agree with him. It's not a bad thing to have, you know, a backing track. It just makes no sense because the main idea here is that you're lip syncing and you're potentially allegedly a fraud because you're not singing live. So the fact that you even had to bring this up is just, it's just a bunch, it's just padding really. It's just padding for time. I think I'm in pretty good company because it's a lot more practical to do that now than to try to hire a bunch of singers. And we only had three days to rehearse 13 very, very difficult metal songs. That's just another thing of him sucking his shmeat all the time. Guys, I only had three days to rehearse these amazing, high, difficult, insane song give me cut me some slack i'm just a human being but the fact that i can sing these high and insane suffering from success <laughs> like shut the fuck beyond ken tamplin vocal academy we must be yeah objection it's not ken tamplin vocal academy it's ken tamplin vocal academy where the proof is in the same beyond ken tamplin vocal academy we must become critical thinkers. Ken, I just want to say you are dumb. You're saying this as if there's no evidence, there's no substantial evidence that you are lip syncing. You telling people to become critical thinkers is undoubtedly you calling your own viewers dumb. And I get it, but you know, becoming a critical thinker is obviously, that's, that's good, very good, very good critical thinking, very nice. But what you're showing here is that you're pretty, like I said, you're calling your audience dumb, but also, you're saying that critical thinking only works when it's for Ken Tamplin Vocal Academy where the proof is in a sick. And you're also silencing the critical thinkers here too because it's a 50-50 right here, right? You would think there would be at least one comment of someone dunking on you. But no, you decided to delete comments. Just be honest with your fans. If you're lip syncing, 
it is what it is. I think you're blowing this into such a bigger proportion just because you're not being honest with your fans, or, or, with your students, especially. Especially students, because those are the ones paying for your course. You're not being honest to them. Just be honest. It would really, it would really help you out in the long run. Beyond Ken Tamplin Vocal Academy, or the we, purpose in the what's going on here is that if we're not critical thinkers, we're going to let all of the news media do our thinking for us. All of the political ad campaigns do our thinking for us. I mean, this is endless. It's, it's pretty much all media now. It, I think pretty much all of true, genuine um, investigative reporting or journalism has just gone in the toilet and it's all about getting views. Ironically enough, you're pretty much being the news outlets here. Wait, what? How did you say it? Do our thinking for us. Do our thinking for us. Like I said, ironically enough, you're the one doing that. You're pretty much doing the thinking for us, or for your audience, specifically. And that's just scummy. That's absolutely scummy. For what? More money? Yeah. You're not being truthful to your audience. And by the way, what the hell is this? <laughs> what the hell? This, like, little quotes that he's got here. I guess it's just another thing to add to him just sucking his own schmeat. Like, oh, you should quote this. Because this is the words of the big Ken Tamplin Vocal Academy, where the proof is in the same. I also recognize that I'm one of the few vocal coaches on the internet that actually sings himself and has students singing. In fact, oh we have over God. 18... <laughs> hundred videos out there i just wanted to let you guys know the amount of girls that i've been with countless ranging from instagram models to runway models to artists taylor swift i bagged her last week this isn't you tackling the subject head on you're ego feeding that's really what it is and it's so sad i'd love to see other people come up to the table and see what they're actually doing instead of just you know click baiting people into whatever they want to get for their views and i say this because i know it leaves me vulnerable and susceptible to a lot of criticism and i'm willing to accept that but i will say this for all of the lip sync accusers out there <laughs> The fuck was that? If that's your way to prove that you're not lip syncing, Ken. It's not like I can pull Jiminy Cricket out of my pocket to do that for me. That's really me singing. And mm -hmm. what yes. I'm going to suggest yes. to you is you need to put on your critical hat, put the two shows side by side, and evaluate it yourself. Don't let someone do your thinking for you. Ken Tamplin Vocal Academy, where the proof is still in the scene. <laughs> Uh, but it's not. And you know what I do like about this whole thing, too, is that he doesn't do a a deep response to Wings of Pegasus, especially, since this is the one that has the most views when it comes to, like, calling him out and stuff. 135,000 views. Doesn't address that at all. The only thing that he really did in this video was just jerk himself off and also calling his audience dumb. That That's all it is. Because he's not tackling the thing head on. I don't know why I'm getting so passionate about this, but I'm just... It's just like, it, the delusion, the delusion, the ignorance, the plain ignorance of, like, the elephant in the room. You're just saying, oh, p people are calling me out for lip syncing because I sang so good. Not because there's actually insane amount of evidence to support... Uh, well, to be honest with you, I think it's smart on Ken's end to not address the Wings of Pegasus video, like, head-on. Because if he did, he would 100% cornered himself. Ken only focused on one thing, or one video specifically, and that's a live stream that he did a few weeks ago. Where in Phil's video, he addresses the live stream, of course, but he also addresses two other videos. This is a live vocal demonstration of him singing Fortunate Son, and he also addresses this one the live stream of 2020, which by the way, he deleted. Let's do a little bit of a mini research. Two things that are very similar in these two videos right here, the one in 2009 and also the live stream in 2020 is that he makes you think that he's actually singing live by doing this random, yeah. He does like a random scream in the beginning of the song just to make you think like, oh, he, mu he must be doing this live. So for the rest of the song, he must be doing it live. Yeah. What? As soon as the song starts, just if you just really listen to it, really listen to it and like kind of look at his lips, he's not singing this live. Uh, 
I watch a lot of concerts on YouTube, and um, I could tell, it's pretty easy to tell, for me at least, like, this isn't, well, this is definitely me sucking my own shmeet, but, like, I can tell pretty easily if someone's singing live or not. For example, Bruno Mars sings live, obviously, The Weeknd sings live. Air Supply doesn't sing live like they used to. Russell's voice isn't as high as it used to be, so, you know, he's been lip-syncing, and that's fine, absolutely. But you know what they're not doing? They're not selling a course called Ken Tamplin's Vocal Academy, where the proof is in the... <laughs> How did the audio become processed from this? How did the audio become more processed? How did the microphone become better when the song started? Or when the actual vocals started? And last thing I wanted to talk about really quickly here is uh, the comments. If you use the plugin, there's 800 likes, uh, 700 dislikes. You would think that there's comments, at least one comment, of someone hating, I guess. Because that's how he puts it, is hating. Right here, nothing, nothing. It's just all love. It's all people that fell for the trap of Ken Tamplin Vocal Academy where the proof is in it. Let me guess, none of these critics reached out to get your comment or side of the story but perceived blood in the water so they've made videos attacking you seeing clicks we don't need his side of the story the proof is in the video there's no need to get this isn't like a he said she said this is just there's video evidence this is the one that made me laugh too if you don't want to read a lot this comment's pretty much like comparing this like whole ken tamplin thing to the p diddy thing which um quadrillion videos accusing the male without anybody even showing or showing even a tiny bit of evidence what about that video of p diddy beating up that girl accusing the male without anybody showing even a tiny bit of evidence so i guess him being arrested was fraud huh? for the ken tamplin stuff there's evidence why not record a completely unplugged version of living for my lord to shut up the critics they won't stop anything ken will do will just be falsely criticized and it's just about getting clicks to their site fortunately what you say is true no matter what i do to prove i'm singing and playing live it won't be good enough to stop the same chronic critics from continuing to raise the bar for me in ways that don't apply to others you're actually annoying the hell you're actually pissing me off ken you're actually pissed i'm surprised he didn't hard his own comment and what you're saying here is absolutely nothing because why don't you actually just do it do a live stream where you and your guitar just 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 start strumming your guitar and singing to it if you do that fair but at least you'll prove that you actually are singing live but what you're doing here is absolutely nothing you're just sucking yourself off without actually providing substantial evidence for yourself we all heard you when the track was switched back to your mic too early <laughs> I call you mistaken, that is giving you the benefit of the doubt. There's no switching off the mic. You seem to be desperate to want me to not actually have been singing live. Ken, me and you, l look at me. It is okay to lip sync. Once in a while, it's no problem. But the problem lies when you decide to lie to your audience that you don't lip sync. When there's evidence that you do lip sync. Because not only are you defending yourself with nothing, but you're also calling your audience dumb. And you're calling your students dumb. But anyway, that's it. I've been recording for 40 minutes. I should probably end this now. Jesus. Turn around. No, I got options. They get me to go, but I tell her to stop it. Always got the key and my heart is the lock it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like a pro, but you're really a novice.